Well, my name is uh, Gunnar Kullenberg. I am from Scandinavia. I used to be professor of oceanography uh, and I was interested in the ocean and how the ocean works and how it influences our lives and uh, what is the role of ocean resources. Why do we worry about the oceans and why do we have the oceans in the climate system. It was a hard way to get the oceans into the climate system. People thought climate that's just atmosphere and meteorology but oceans are just as important. It's the system we're talking about and we are now facing changes in this atmosphere ocean system which are occurring at a rate which is, is much larger than previously experienced in our global earth system. And this energy input which we have generated in the last couple of decades through our so-called greenhouse gas warming, most of that energy has gone into the ocean, about 90 percent, and it has penetrated down into several kilometers, but most of it is found in the top 700 meters. And what does this mean? What does it mean for you? What does it mean for me? It means that the whole weather system has changed. It is changing and it is changing pretty fast. The storm intensity has increased. In Europe, people are disappearing because of heat, wave, heat waves. These heat waves, extreme weather conditions we had last year, were very much related to changes in the ocean because of this increased energy which is, if you, if you measure the temperature change in the ocean, it's not very large. But the energy amount is very considerable. And that, of course, influences the whole system. And the hurricane intensity has increased. The storm intensity has, is about a factor of five larger now than we expected it to be. The warming also implies that the, the polar regions are very strongly influenced. The ice is disappearing in the Arctic faster than we were thinking it would. And just recently we heard that there are ice breaks off in the Antarctica. This was predicted. This was predicted. It would happen in, in, in about uh, sometimes around 2030 or 2025. But it's happening now. So the rates are larger. And, and this, how does it more influence me? It influences me because uh, I like to eat fish and uh, the fish is being disturbed. The marine living resources are being disturbed because of these changes. They are also, of course, disturbed because of our other activities in the ocean. But it is the change induced by us which is triggering a lot of these other things. Therefore, what this global forum on oceans coast and islands has, has done is to pick this up to ensure that the climate change issue is brought and the impacts on the ocean and the ocean's impact on the climate is brought uh, loud and clear into the debate and, and into the debate where people are negotiating about what are we going to do about all this but also into the public awareness. 